The new Soft Rock 103.9. Hi, I'm Jim Johnson from The Morning Show. And I'm Stephanie. Thanks so much for the great calls and comments. Do you like the show so far? Absolutely love it. You guys got the best morning show. Because, like, you talk a little bit and then she talks a little bit and it kind of mixes it up and makes it nice. Oh, I'm enjoying it very much. I had some qualms at first, man and woman, that there were going to be strong battles. And I won't listen to that. And you can have fun, and you guys are doing it without going overboard. So I'm enjoying it very much. I really like the games you've played. That, uh, the one this morning with the guy and the girl. Oh, you mean Mars and Venus? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of fun. I like the family format a lot. You don't have to worry about explaining the facts of life to the kid in the car, you know? All sorts of stuff that you just enjoy. And the kid's just like, <laughs> I want to call him a joke. <laughs> So. It, it makes them pop right out of bed and call that joke in. Right? It really does. And they work really hard to find their joke. You're great, and, and if you can put up with him. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have made my Tuesday. Oh, thank but you. I just called to tell you that I laughed so hard. Stephanie, you were laughing so hard, you were making me laugh. So, <laughs> poor Jim. Oh, God. But anyway, you guys, thanks for a great Tuesday. You started my day out terrific. So. Oh, we love you. Thank Keep you. Keep up the good work, you guys. You guys got the best morning show. Your new format's good. I like the uh, getting the kids involved. Do you think you could do anything to help Stephanie stop picking on me all the time? <laughs> you could behave. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I love you, Kathy. That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Do you like our new morning show? Oh, I love it. Good show, guys. It's great. I like the team there. That's what keeps everybody going, though. You know, it wakes you up in the morning. I just found it, and now I have it at the office all the time. I really enjoy it. I I like, you know, you guys are friendly on the air. I like that. Come across friendly. What do you mean, come across friendly? We're very really <laughs> friendly. By golly. And Never if mind. you don't believe us, we'll go there and kick your butt. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you friendly. Great rapport. You guys are like brother and sister on the air. You really are. No, you guys do a real good job together. You do. So why don't you tune in and check out what everyone's been talking about? Good, clean, wholesome fun that the whole family can wake up to together. Why do cows have bells? <laughs> Do cows have bells? Yeah. I don't why? know why. Because their horns don't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. What's your name? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. How old are you, Mackenzie? Five. Well, do you go to school yet? Yeah, head start. Hey, Casey, tell us your joke. What kind of dance do computers go to? What kind of dance will a computer go to? I don't know. A uh, disco. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a floppy disco, right? <laughs> How old are you, Casey? Ten. What school do you go to? Elementary and flushing. How do insects travel? Okay. <laughs> How do insects travel? I don't know. By buggy. By buggy. <laughs> oh, that's cute. How old are you? Four. 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 Well, you're a pretty smart <laughs> foa. You can be a little comedian. What's your name? Jack. How do you catch a squirrel? How do you catch a squirrel? Climb a tree and act like a nut. <laughs> Climb up a tree and act like a nut. Hey, <laughs> Stephanie could catch a bunch of squirrels today, I'm telling you. What kind of phone does a turtle have? I don't know. What kind of a phone does a turtle have? A cellular phone. <laughs> okay, Sammy, how old are you? Ten. Have your kids or grandkids between the ages of two and ten call in each morning before school at 810-251-5104. If we play your joke back on Friday at 715, you can win great Mattel toys. Kids jokes. Each morning on the Jim Johnson Morning Show. With Jim and Stephanie here at the new Soft Rock 103.9. Our fun with phone topics continues. And this time, what games did you play in the car on a long trip? You would go through the alphabet, but instead of using the license plates, like you mentioned, we would check out words that begin with, like, A, and you'd look around on billboards, trucks going by, whatever, and then you go to B and C all the way through the alphabet. The tricky ones were the Q and the Z, but every oh, now yeah. and then you find a Quaker State or a Quality <laughs> Farm or <laughs> something, but uh, that took up a good half an hour. What letter do you usually go, okay, I'm tired of this already now? Uh, yeah, the X and the Q. <laughs> Sometimes we, we can go exit and call that our X. Oh, there you <laughs> go. So you had to be a little creative on those difficult letters. What was your favorite TV show growing up? Who is the leader of the club to say for you, Emmy? <laughs> M-I-D-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Everybody's favorite has to be the Brady Bunch. Okay. So much, Who is so your favorite girl? Has to be Marsha, Marsha, Every, Marsha. Everybody, yeah. all the guys but Marsha, Marsha. Okay, but yeah. Gilligan's Island, who would you have picked? Was it Ginger or Marianne? Uh, I would have to say Marianne yeah. was really cute. All guys say that. Yeah. Marianne. Yeah. Who was that? Yeah. Uh, My boyfriend said he'd go for the money, Mrs. Howell. <laughs> right. Phone mishaps. I was on the phone with my girlfriend, so I clicked over the freeway, called my folks' house, left a message on their answer machine, clicked back to my girlfriend, and said, oh, my mother sounds so stupid on her answer machine <gasps> message. Oh, it was no. just horrible. And then we heard a beep. Oh, my gosh. I grabbed my two little kids and drove the miles to my parents' house, used my key to get in, and tried to erase it. And the garage door went up. They arrived home. <gasps> so I unplugged the answer machine and clutched it to my chest. 
Oh, and, oh, no. And they walked in, and my mother said, what are you doing? And I said, your answer machine doesn't work. I have to go fix it. <laughs> and grabbed two cans of peas and said I had to borrow them. <laughs> and she was just looking at me like, oh, okay. Well, now when they hear this, they're going to realize what you did. <laughs> well, hopefully they won't. They'll be out gardening right now. Good. Nine out of ten gardeners listen to us while they're gardening. Did you know that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do you remember your first kiss? I was, I was not quite two. He was not quite five. Oh, old, older man. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> he, robbed, he really robbed the cradle there, didn't he? <laughs> Things have improved since then. You know, I mean, I, I have gotten a little better. Has anybody since then ever kissed you and made, like, your, your whole body tingle? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's certain people that, like, when you get together and you kiss, the chemistry is like, wow. I like to kiss, so I kiss a lot. Kissing's and fun. I, my toes curl a lot. So. <laughs> Just hearing you talk are making my toes curl right now. <laughs> What's the strangest thing that ever woke you up? You know what woke me up? My what? own snore. I heard this horrible <laughs> noise, and I'm like, oh, my God, what is that? And then I realized it was me. So if anybody asks you now, do you snore, you have to say, yeah, I have to admit <laughs> yeah, I, I heard it. And the first dream that woke me up was while my husband ran off with that long-legged redhead, and I woke up crying. <laughs> Aww. And to this day, you don't trust long-legged redheads, do you? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a long-legged redhead. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't serve that threat, does he? Not quite. <laughs> Helpful household hints. Good morning, you guys. Morning. You get the smell of onions or garlic, or if you're handling fish, that smell on your hands. Yeah. You have a stainless steel sink? Yes. Rub your hands under running water on the stainless steel. The smell is gone completely. It's so you rub your hand against the stainless steel under the running water? Yeah. Thanks so much. Hey, how do we get the smell out of Stephanie's breath? <laughs> <laughs> get out of her face. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cry. What should we do with all of our prisoners? Force them to do a housewife's job. Really? All day long. Where they uh, yes. get to wear their striped yeah. uh, uniform? They need frilly aprons with the eyelets, all that stuff. they got to work in that. Yeah. That would be true, cruel torture. Rub I like floors, it. Wash walls, do the laundry, wash dishes, <laughs> yes. cook three meals a day, clean the toilets, wash the windows. Of course, this is from a woman who wishes she had time to do all that. <laughs> no kidding. Wendy the yeah. warden. Now that we've had our feminist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you were picking more on men than prisoners there, Wendy, just a little bit. Well, let's put it this way. What are the majority of prisoners? I think that's married men, actually. That's the right term for it. <laughs> Classes that you wish you would have taken in high school. Should have taken home ec. You think? Yeah. Well, I've never met a woman who cook. I didn't take home ec either. I think maybe my ex-husband would have liked it if I had. Yeah, and a lot of ex-husbands are just saying that, today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, even my mom for crying out loud. <laughs> well, it's true. Mine can't either. I used to go, oh, just like the cans my mom used to open. <laughs> I'd come home from school if a mom had made hamburger helper. I thought I'd die and gone to heaven. All right, a meal. Yay. My kids won't eat that. I don't think hamburger needs any help in my, uh, my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jim, I'm so sorry to hear about your problem. It can strike any family. Look for the telltale signs. Sideburns, twitching hips, sweating, and the biggest gut on the block. Yes, he may be an Elvis Holic. Oh, but now there's hope at Elvis Holics Anonymous. We understand this addiction. They identify with Elvis, substitute Elvis for their own fragile egos. Let's face it, they're nuts. My name's Albert Johnson, <coughs> and I'm an Elvis Holic. Uh, no, no, wait. My name's. My name's Lucky Johnson. Here, we Las Vegas. Call now, 1 800 Nutcase, because you never know who may be an Elvis Holic. Honey, I'm sure glad I got the cure. Thanks. Oh, baby. Come close to me, little darling. I want you. Doris. I need you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's the Jim Johnson Morning Show. Jim and Stephanie on the new Soft Rock 103.9. The new Soft Rock 103.9. Hi, I'm Jim Johnson from The Morning Show. And hi, I'm Stephanie. Hey, Jim, our fun with phone topics continues. And this time... Your favorite Wizard of Oz character. Blanda the Good Witch. I wanted her diamond tiara. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, I'll tell the truth. And she saved the day. Saving the day didn't make the difference to me. It was the diamond tiara. It was Sorry. the accessories all the way. <laughs> <laughs> she was the character I hated the most because she goes, You could have gone home all this time. Like, no. shut up, lady. Why did you tell me that before? <laughs> and honest to God, even at that young age, I thought, now those shoes just don't match that dress. <laughs> Wizard of Oz on a fashion statement. Oh, there we go. go. Embarrassing moments. The other day, my wife and I were at Myers. I've lost a little bit of weight in the last few weeks, and uh, we were strolling out of the store there, and I'm, I'm telling her, I said, you know, look, I'm going to have to put another notch in this belt, you know. Mm -hmm. I, 
I said, they're really hanging low. I said, look at this. I kind of lifted my T-shirt, and they dropped right down. <laughs> <on my head. laughs> oh, no. I didn't miss a step, man. I mean, I kept right on going. She's laughing, you know, and after I got to the car, I'm going, you know, if I'd have seen that, I'd have probably thought it was pretty funny, too. But... I hope you took your mother's advice and wore in clean underwear that day. Yeah, yeah. You know what Mom always says. <laughs> That's right. You can never know. Strange trivia you've heard. My instructor told us that the reason that mascara smells so bad is because it's made from bat dung. Ew. I so had not they... heard that, and I do wear mascara, so now I'll think about it. I, I don't know that they do that anymore, and I don't know if she was trying to fool us, but that's what she told us. Hey, that gives a whole new meaning to the term, bat your eyes. So when a woman bats her eyes at a man, she's just trying to get that stuff off of it, right? Uh, no. <laughs> she's bad, really bad. Kids say the darndest things. I, when I was nursing my infant son, my niece was six years old and walked into the room where I was nursing him and said, went screaming out of the room and said, Mommy, Mommy. Larry's eating Aunt Mary. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Things that you hate to see at the stoplight. I hate it whenever I see somebody stick in their nose. In there, if they're in the car or something, I hate that. That's so gross. So are you women against nose pickers? Is that I, what you're saying? I think, I think it's gross. What do you do at the stoplight? Well, I don't pick my nose. <laughs> we were traveling one day and we saw this man really like digging a treasure he <laughs> would not stop and we watched to see how long is he going to do that I, he lost the first knuckle we were past that point we were out of there I see so many guys doing it I don't know why the girls don't do it but yeah thank you what was your name Vicky okay Vicky against boogers okay <laughs> <laughs> something you'll never hear a man say um, I've never heard a decent I'm sorry yet oh really Ooh, there you go <laughs> something you'll never hear a man say I don't think I've ever heard a man ask if his butt looked too big in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, he's not worried about that or his thighs, is he? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, John, you'll never hear a man say, Sure, honey, you can take back the lingerie I bought you for Christmas and get that flannel nighty. <laughs> <laughs> With feet in it and a zipper up to the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I don't think women should worry so much about what they don't hear a man say. Why is that? Well, because really they shouldn't be able to hear us anyways when they're out in the kitchen making snacks for us to watch football by. <laughs> your wife or girlfriend must be a lucky woman to have you. Yeah. <laughs> what were some of your favorite snacks as a kid? We were lucky to have peanut butter and jelly in the house. <laughs> oh, I know that. Popsicles were always a big thing. Dreamsicles? Remember dreamsicles? Oh, yeah. Those were those were good. They oh, were yeah. they were the popsicles with like the cream filling mm -hmm. inside there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. With the orange on the outside. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Those and push ups. You remember push ups? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where you push up the orange ice cream. Sherbert. Yep, yeah. it was sherbet, yep. The first time my mom made me beets, I thought, I don't want a beet, but she put butter all over them and salt and pepper, and, oh, man, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, when they're warm, yeah. Oh, yeah, I never thought I liked beets, but now Stephanie, I love them. Stephanie, we're talking about ice cream here, and you brought up <laughs> beets. <laughs> it was like dessert to me with all that butter and salt and pepper. Well, you put butter and salt and pepper on anything, it's going to be good, I guess. Oh, that's wow. Very fattening, though. Oh, yep. the butter is, yeah. Yeah. Hey, why don't you tune in and check out what everyone's been talking about? Let's only family-style morning show. The Jim Johnson Morning Show. With Jim and Stephanie, right here at the new Soft Rock one. 103.9. The new Soft Rock 103.9. Hi, I'm Jim Johnson from The Morning Show. And hi, I'm Stephanie. Well, it's Buick Open Week, and I had a very tough job on Wednesday of hanging out with former Charlie's Angel, Cheryl Ladd. So how'd you feel golf for you, Cheryl? Looks pretty good. I have my moments on the golf course, in which you actually might think that until you follow me around for a whole 18. <laughs> and you might change your mind. Hey, everybody who played Monday in the Ladies Pro Am and today said they just love meeting you. Well, I'm flabbergasted. That is so nice. I had more fun with these gals, I gotta tell you. There were some great women out here. We had a ball. And they were all so kind to me and, and it was all warm and fun and and they were great too. I felt the same way. I heard that it was such a success that this year they're gonna try to do it next year and I hope I get to be part of it. Thanks for taking time to talk to us here at Soft Rock 103.9 Cheryl. A pleasure. Bye bye. Hey why don't you tune in and check out what everyone's been talking about. The Jim Johnson Morning Show. With Jim and Stephanie here at the new Soft Rock 103.9. The new Soft Rock 103.9. Hi, I'm Jim Johnson from The Morning Show. And hi, I'm Stephanie. Hey, Jim, did you know that everybody dreams every night? Hey, yeah, that's right. And whether your dreams are wild or wonderful, you can find out what they really mean with Dream Analysis with Julietta. Thursday mornings at 7.30 on The Jim Johnson Morning Show. I have uh, continuous dreams about rats. About rats? Rats. And, and a lot of times you're trying to bite me. And I had a dream the other night that she was killed in a car accident. Um, It's about chewing gum. A <laughs> mouthful of gum. <laughs> and I can't get it out of my mouth. And it just keeps growing and it sticks to my teeth. Okay. You're feeling very frustrated, I take her. It's very weird. <laughs> I have this dream where I'm in a car and I can't. Do you have a dream you want analyzed? Yes, I have actually two short ones which might be related. Okay. Dream Analysis with Julietta. 
Thursday mornings at 7.30 with Jim and Stephanie on the new Soft Rock 103.9. Remember, sweet dreams. The new Soft Rock 103.9. Hi, I'm Jim Johnson from The Morning Show. And I'm Stephanie. Hey, Jim, I just want to thank all the wonderful people who called to wish me well on my 40th birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. <laughs> Hello, is this the Stephanie and Jim show? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Boy, you caught on to that fast, didn't you? The rumor is that Stephanie is not 40 years old. Stephanie is 46 years old. <laughs> I would have to hurt you. Morning, Stephanie. This is Mrs. Lynch. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. My my late husband Emmett and I are sitting here listening to your program. <laughs> my late husband hasn't passed away yet. He's he's just late for everything. That's why I call him my late husband. But happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I've been forty for three years now, and I want to tell you, the future never looks brighter. I can go where I want, say what I want. I've paid my dues, and so have you, girl. Celebrate! <laughs> All right! Funny, but true names. Um, I used to work with a guy named Rigor Mortis. Oh, oh my gosh. I actually had a relative named Rosie Butts. My maiden name was Florida, and at one point, one of my uncles had a wife. Her first name was Georgia. Georgia, Florida. Okay, let me get this straight. Ivana Trump marries Neil Diamond. Ivana Diamond. <laughs> if she divorced Neil Diamond and married Jack Nicholas, she would be Ivana Diamond Nicholas. Ah. <laughs> when I got married, my name turned to Luce, and then my sister got married. Her name was Drain, so we had a loose Drain in the family. Ah. Well, then, then I got divorced, and I dated a guy named Plummer. Are you kidding? That's, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Name game with a five hundred dollar winner. Hi, Jim, it's me, Carol Anderson. Carol, you just won five hundred dollars. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Now let's tell you one thing, April yes. Fools. It, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're just kidding. You know, I just, no. I just got. I mean, I got hot all over. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys are crazy. You just don't know what that means. Aww. To me. Thank you so much, Soft Rock 103.9. Thank you both so very much. Bless you and have a happy Easter. Thank you. And you it wasn't same. April Fool's either. <laughs> well, here we are in our first ever Soft Rock 103.9 Monday morning mugshot. It's a beautiful looking Monday. You can tell who's driving here. Hey, you going to use your blinker or what? Hey, leave me alone. All right, well, we're going to see Teresa. Good afternoon. Flexible automation. Get ready. Here we come, Teresa. We got goodies for you. Hi, is Teresa here? It's Teresa. Guess who we are? Stephanie and <laughs> You got it. Teresa. That's Simon. right. I'm Stephanie and she's... <laughs> Well, congratulations. We got your fast. Where's your radio? 103.9. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to ring the bell there. Oh, my God. You can't take him anywhere. Our boss came in and said, you know, I listened to the station in the morning, and right. so ever since then, we taped the antenna up to the window. We also stopped by to visit the girls at Victor George. Can we visit you next? Jim and I are ready to mug you with a mug full of prizes from the Coffee Beanery on Dorton Atherton on our next Monday morning mug shot. Fax us right now at 743-2500. Maybe we'll be visiting you this Monday between noon and 2. Thank, Thank you, Soft Rock 103.9. Yes. Oh, you guys. Soft Rock. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some more funny, stupid burglar stories from James L. Smith in the Flint Journal. Of course, the lady in Flushing who presented the false ID at a, at a local bar when they were doing an alcohol sting, and it turned out to be the ID of ex-girlfriend of the police officer that was that was raiding her, so that didn't work out too well. Yeah, a couple of short ones from the past I thought you might enjoy. Uh, officer Esther Bernritter, she's a wonderful, wonderful officer. She's also very attractive. She was involved in the arrest of a man who claimed he did not speak English. They were delaying the arrest so they could get an interpreter over to explain to him his rights and all that, and when they were, two of them were alone, he suddenly asked her in English for a date, so it turned out... <laughs> So they canceled the interpreter. Your first chance to win each day with the name game at 810. And don't forget, Thursday is take your daughter to work day, so you might want to plan ahead. I'm bringing Jackie and Taylor. Also Thursday, a $500 winner with the name game. Be listening. The Jim Johnson Morning Show. With Jim and Stephanie here at the new Soft Rock 103.9. Hi, I'm Jim Johnson for the Morning Show. And hi, I'm Stephanie. Hey. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't forget about us. I'm Jackie. And I'm Taylor. And today was take, take your, your daughter, daughter to work day. I brought my daughters to work today. And today was so much fun, especially when dad called. Well, I just wanted to call and say that I'm very proud of my two young ladies there. Aw, <laughs> thank I you. I feel very blessed to have, uh, to have them. Aw, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, you them. And now that I have embarrassed them, I would uh. like to know about uh, this driving incident, Stephanie. Oh! <laughs> it was news to me, Larry, I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think it goes both ways, Daddy. Uh, well, we don't want to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, Jim, uh, you've got your hands full with those three, I must say. <laughs> I think this is some kind of record, really, that they all three were up before 6 o'clock. <laughs> Enjoy right. your show, and... Uh, 
I'll talk to you all later. Uh, bye, Dad. Bye, bye. Another winner Friday at 810 with the name game. Plus the kid joke of the week. Back at it bright and early tomorrow morning. The Jim Johnson Morning Show. With Jim and Stephanie here at the new Soft Rock 103.9. Hey, Jim, we found out that Wednesday was Jeff Wade's birthday, so we gave him a call. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. You guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you never said a word, you little skunk. Mm, somebody found out. And you're what, 26 today, 27? You got it. <laughs> we bake you a birthday cake if you get a tummy ache. And you moan and groan and woe. Don't forget we told you so. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> You know, we all need a day like that once a year, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to find out each one of your days here. <laughs> I already know Stephanie's, but I'm working on Jim right now. Mine was yesterday. You missed it, so. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know you're a mom because... Blank. No matter how much confidence you have in yourself, no matter how pretty you think you are, that can be shot down in half a second because your teenager doesn't want to be seen with you. <laughs> 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 because you look dorky, she thinks. <laughs> You could be the hottest mom there is, no and you're looking dorky next to your teenager. <laughs> sometimes right? I really think I am. How old is she? She'll be 16. Oh, that's the age that can't stand to be with mom. Don't touch my hand, for goodness sake. Don't oh, hold my yeah. hand. Don't even act like you know me. Just walk away from me in the mall and <laughs> yep. don't talk to me. Yep. I got a 15-year-old, I know. But, Roxanne, <laughs> I've seen you. You do look like a pretty good mom. Let me tell you. I think you look great. <laughs> well, you know, we all said the same thing about you. You know, you hear a lot of voices on the radio, and you think, hmm, I wonder what they really look like. Yeah. Well, we all voted that we thought you was extremely pretty. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> that's Thank why, you. That's why I didn't come out, because I was scared the heck out of you. <laughs> you know you're a mom because... Blank. When you can drink from the same cup as your toddler and not even flinch. Uh, <laughs> floaties. Uh, you know. The first one you go, I have to admit, I said, no way. The second one occasionally, the third and fourth. No problem. No oh, problem. My goodness. I know we had one of these emailed to us. It said you will drink the sugary milk out of your kid's leftover Fruit Loops bowl, so it just won't go to waste. Oh, oh yeah. I'm not so worried about that. I'm thinking, you know, I've you know a little toddler cup where there's like little chunky things in there. Uh huh. Exactly. You drink that thing down and go, oh yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, you're a better mom than I'll ever be. <laughs> uh. We celebrated Hairdresser Appreciation Day on Thursday with some pretty funny hair stories. Quite a few years ago, my uncle, who is a very very shy person was at the movies and he had to go to the restroom. As he was coming back in, he noticed that he had not zipped up his fly. So as he was going in and sitting behind the people in front of him, you know, he zipped up and he caught the lady's hair in front of him. <laughs> 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 they had to have the usherette come down with their flashlight to get this. <laughs> having a rough day until then. Now I feel pretty good. I enjoy your program. Listen Friday for the Kid Joke of the Week at 7.15. Plus, we'll get your weekend kicked off with Flint's fresh new fun way to wake up, the Jim Johnson Morning Show. With Jim and Stephanie here at the new Soft Rock 103.9. The new Soft Rock 103.9 Flint's Family Station presents the biggest family sports event of all time. Hi, I'm Jim Johnson from the Soft Rock 103.9 Morning Show. Join me at the Genesee County Sheriff's Dare Fundraiser Basketball Game. I'll be playing basketball with a couple of ball players you may have heard of, Michigan State's Mateen Cleves and Morris Peterson, just to name a few, as we take on Ron Rice and the Detroit Lions, featuring Charlie Batch, Cedric Irvin, Jermaine Crowell, Alan Aldridge, and more. Yes, you're definitely going to want to bring the kids for an awesome family event, complete with autographs, door prizes, and great basketball players like me. <laughs> hey, watch me spin the ball on my finger. Whoops. Hey, Mom and Dad, mark your calendar. Friday, April 7th, 7 p.m., Carmen Ainsworth Junior High on West Maple in Flint. Tickets are only $5 and are going very fast, so call now. 810-257-3432. The ultimate fundraiser basketball game from the Genesee County Sheriff's Department DARE program and the new Soft Rock 103.9. The new Soft Rock 103.9. Hi, I'm Jim Johnson from The Morning Show. And I'm Stephanie. Thanks so much for the great calls and comments. Do you like the show so far? Absolutely love it. You guys got the best morning show. Because, like, you talk a little bit, and then she talks a little bit, and it kind of mixes it up and makes it nice. Oh, I'm enjoying it very much. I had some qualms at first, man and woman, that there were going to be strong battles. And I won't listen to that. And you can have fun, and you guys are doing it without going overboard. So I'm enjoying it very much. I really like the games you've played. That, uh, the one this morning with the guy and the girl. Oh, you mean Mars and Venus? Yeah. That was kind of fun. I like the family format a lot. You don't want to have to worry about explaining the facts of life to the kid in the car, you know? All sorts of stuff that you just enjoy. And the kid's just like, <laughs> I want to 
call in my joke. So. It, it makes them pop right out of bed and call that joke in. Right? It really does. And they work really hard to find their joke. You're great. And, and if you can put up with him. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have made my Tuesday. Oh, thank but you. I just called to tell you that. I laughed so hard. Stephanie, you were laughing so hard. You were making me laugh. So, <laughs> poor Jim. Oh, God. But anyway, you guys, thanks for a great Tuesday. You started my day out terrific. So oh, we love you. Thank keep you. Keep up the good work, you guys. You guys got the best morning show. Your new format's good. I like the uh, getting the kids involved. Do you think you could do anything to help Stephanie stop picking on me all the time? <laughs> you could behave. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I love you, Kathy. That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Do you like our new morning show? Oh, I love it. Good show, guys. It's great. I like the team there. That's what keeps everybody going, though. You know, it wakes you up in the morning. I just found it, and now I have it at the office all the time. I really enjoy it. I like you know, you guys are friendly on the air. I like that. Come across friendly. What do you mean, come across friendly? We're very <laughs> friendly. By golly. And Never if mind. you don't believe us, we'll go there and kick your butt. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you friendly. Great rapport. You guys are like brother and sister on the air. You really are. No, you guys do a real good job together. You do. So why don't you tune in and check out what everyone's been talking about? Good, clean, wholesome fun that the whole family can wake up to together. Why do cows have bells? <laughs> Why do cows have bells? Yeah. I don't why? know why. Because their horns don't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. What's your name? Mackenzie. Mackenzie.